Scoop. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. Um, this is going to be a little awkward in the beginning of the show because Chris Frangel is here. And if you follow myself or Chris on Instagram yesterday, we, yeah. um, what do you call it? We had a celebrity beef. Uh, <laughs> I think in so. In internet, yeah. a front of me situation. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, I'll just explain it how it started. Okay. So um, Saturday night, I went out to dinner or whatever at a friend's house. And I came back and I was just going through my phone before I fell asleep. And I saw that you were at Motley Crue with right. Sarah Colonna. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, that's interesting. Whatever. You know, I mean, uh-huh. I've been to Motley Crue a couple times. I know. You're friendly with. I, yeah. I know Nikki. I know Courtney. But like, and I knew he was coming to town, but I didn't. I'm like. I don't want to be that person that's always like, can you get us tickets? You know, because I don't like when people do it to me. Right. So I was like, oh, if someone invited me from the group of friends and they got, were like, hey, we're going, do you want to come? Whatever, whether I had to pay or not, I would have been into it. But nobody else organized it. Right. So I was like, oh, all right, fine. Then I woke up the next morning to see you that you would text me at night. That right. Night. I was already asleep. And you're like, I'm not Motley Crue. Are you here? Are you friends with Nikki? Which was... A hint to me of like, oh, do you think I can get you back? Yeah, or something? exactly what it was. We were looking for better seats. I'm like, maybe Heather's down on the floor. We she can get us in. <laughs> so not only do we not invite you, right. we we're looking to use you for better seats. Exactly. So then I wrote back and I said, uh, just seeing this now, but you should have thought about that when you invited Sarah over me. Well, can I just say this right before you finish? You're I did. The bus, it was Sarah. The bus. It was Sarah who did the whole thing. She bought the tickets. She organized everything. Well, not me. I was just invited. Just looming your face in her, all of her Instagram <laughs> stories. Just yeah. Wearing right, your glasses. Right. Yeah. Those glasses, your party glasses. Yeah, but those are my concert glasses. Okay. So yeah. – um, I was like, and then, and then you're like, ha ha, or something. Um, should I still come tomorrow at eleven? I'm like, did you not see my last test? The friendship's over. <laughs> That's when I was. I uh, thought maybe it was real. You thought I might have yeah. been a little bit mad. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, in my old age, okay, I am the first to admit I'm kind of in a wonderful moment in my life right now. Uh- in okay. that I am no longer jealous about a lot of things that Thank honestly you. used to get me jealous. Things that used to get me jealous might even be uh, a friend that I adore and love hearing that they got like a series or a sitcom or a pilot. But that's different. Okay. But now. You don't have that anymore. No. Gone. Wow. A hundred percent gone. Are you sure? What if I got like a pilot? Or I'd a, be so happy for you. No, you I wouldn't. Oh, you'd be like, you son of a bitch. Okay, if you if you got picked. <laughs> oh, it'll never okay, happen. The only way the only way I'd be jealous. I'm okay. totally honest. If someone like you, uh-huh. or like some, it would have to be a podcast deal. That's the only oh, thing that's going to okay. make me jealous right yeah, now. Yeah, I, w- I could see that. It's not going to be though. a stand-up special anymore. No, it's not going to be any kind of like sold a TV show idea. No, nope. no. But in the past, not that I wouldn't want you to have it, but I would feel that jealousy, and I would be like Heather. You know, jealousy is one of the seven sins. Mm-hmm. Stop it. Be happy for your friend. But I'm honest enough to say that I would get like a pang in my stomach. And the pang would be like feeling bad that I'm not at, as happy as I should be my friend. Right. All those thoughts that you go in your head as the actor, it's not your part, it's there, it doesn't matter, there's enough in the world for blah, 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 Yeah. So the only time I would be kind of mad is like, you you know, you go, hey, I have something to tell you. I just got $20 million uh-huh. for cover to cover. <laughs> well, I can assure you that's not happening. <laughs> well, I'm pretty confident. Yeah. So... If you're asking what would, okay, so, and then I will say, um, there's been times where there's parties and things that I see on Facebook that I'm friends with people. Right. And I was not out of town. I was literally out in my house. Uh Uh-huh. Absolutely could have been included. Would have gone with bells on. To, not not to, you're talking not talking to, about Molly Crew right now. Molly Crew as well. Well, Molly Crew as well. If if my okay because my other friend Liz went and um but she didn't by the talk. way she wrote me on Instagram. Oh, Liz wrote me. She's trying to get into this yeah. and she's like, oh Heather always picks the big <laughs> yeah. okay. Cause she goes she goes I've been doing. Liz, Liz says I've minute. been dealing with this since grade. Right, Liz is trying to because Liz didn't share with me until after the fact uh-huh. that she went to the concert. And I think she I thought I meant, might have been a little butthurt that I wasn't included because way back when, 
I was the one that introduced this whole group to the connection of Courtney and Nikki Six. And did she get her tickets through that connection? Yeah. Oh, well, that's but, different. But I can honestly say I've gone a couple times and if they would have invited me, I would have gone. But I was very happy, like recovering from three days in Catalina. And we went to like a friend's house for dinner. I was literally asleep by like 930. Like I was fine with it. Yeah. But in the past, I've been with other things like, whoa, like, so I do like to be invited so that I could possibly turn it down. Right. I just like to be invited. Sure. Well, that's good to know. Give me the choice. But what if Give... you say yes? Then in... I'm never a bitch about it, though. I'm never a complainer. I will never leave early. I will not flake that day. 4 p.m. We got there for Joan Jett, who started at 430. And his show ended at 1130. So it was seven hours. It wasn't just Motley Cruz. But, but you would have told me we're going to go at 4 and we're going to leave at 11. And I could have made that decision. Oh, okay. I would have definitely worn like flat boots or tennis shoes. I would have known to do that. <laughs> yeah, and like, it was a good call. But um, no, I probably, that is, you know, that's too long of a like a thing for music. Yeah. And I like, like if I go to anything like a Coachella station, it's got to be like, we're leaving a really wealthy person's home. Right. To go to a really wealthy VIP six. The only thing uh, I'm going to be jealous of right now, I'm telling you right now. We were not in a VIP So if you six. get invited to something like this and you can bring someone, right. this is where I'm going to be mad. Okay. Extremely gorgeous homes right. having parties with a chef that serves each person a plate and there's several um, wine pairings in that. Oh. That. I don't know those type of people. That I will be jealous of. Yeah. That is the only thing. I don't care. They don't have, I, I don't even want them to be famous. I don't right. care about famous people anymore. I want really wealthy people that live in beautiful homes. Okay. With delicious food and drink. But you have that. I mean, I feel like you have access to those people more than I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. But I'm saying now I can honestly say if I saw a group of friends mm -hmm. that did that, and they could have easily invited me or I knew the person and they all just didn't think to include me. Right. That private dinner party overlooking the ocean or a gorgeous home, that's the only thing I'm jealous of currently in my life. That is the that is my favorite thing to do. Well, then I'll give you this. Because yes. if, if, I don't know if this makes you feel bad or good, but we did take a car service to Motley Crue. I like a car so service. So I'll just let you know where we were. Okay. Car service picked us all up. Okay. And we had a 12 pack of white claws in the car service. So if that's something you're interested in, like, you know what I'm we not... were, there was a lot of discussion on what we we're going to take, like, to, yeah, as the roadies, roadies. Yeah. Yes. To the con. So it was that type of deal. Yeah. You know, Kelowna's Arkansas. I'm Long Island. It's, no, I, 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 I don't know if it's your crowd. Listen, it wasn't. So I absolutely am not sad that you didn't invite yeah. me. Yeah. But then the gaslighting began. <laughs> and I'm going to use a triggering word, which is gaslighting. I don't I really know what gaslighting means. I, I, I use the term, but I don't know what it means. They use it all the time. Yeah. It's basically turning it around. And the simplest way is you think that your husband's cheating. Right. And you're like, but why were you? What, what, it, what is this earring? That's your earring. That uh -huh. is your earring. That, you know. And then you're like, eventually you find out your husband cheated but then now it's been six months of you actually thinking you've gone insane right. and it's taken from an old movie called gaslight because, i i remember seeing the movie years ago yes it's it, an old 1950s yes, movie. that's what even. it is yeah. so it's basically turning it around and and making you think what you're seeing you didn't see okay so i probably used it wrong but i just decided to attack you with it so when who was so gaslighting first, who so you, I, I was did, gaslighting you so first i decide to share the text messages on my instagram without um Tagging you guys. Right. Because I'm like, let someone think I accidentally did this, whatever. And then I waited about an hour to look at the DMs to see if people, how people were going to react. Right. And I had already planned that I was going to say that, that you were getting death threats for not writing yeah. the Motley And this crew. is based on some sort of Real Housewives drama, right? Yes, which I'll explain okay. in a minute. But right now there's a thing. I'll explain it right now. Right now there's a thing going on with uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And Garcelle's, you know, they're always fighting. Uh -huh. And then apparently these freak Bravo embarrassing fans, and I'm embarrassed if any of them are women, or they could be bots or they could be a combo of both, went after Garcelle's 14-year-old son oh. and go, went to his Instagram and was sending him private messages and comments that were absolutely racist and horrific. Just oh, awful. Okay, nice. So then 
all these people are like, it wasn't me. I didn't hire the bots. And people are like, who hired the bots? Or is it just some weird desperate person? Or is this like a Jesse Smollett situation? Not saying Garcelle and her son did it. Right. But is someone almost like create, like, don't even feel that way, but just put it out there to see, like, would this, does this have legs? Like, uh-huh. if I go after this kid, would this have legs? And now they're like kind of in, excited that they're sitting back at home and seeing that everyone's talking about this story. Right. Okay. So I was like, you know, I we always joke about how people say my kids are getting death threats. And housewives do this all the time. Lisa Renna just said, my daughters are getting death threats and this and that. Lot. And like, what does constitute the death threat? And well, it, haven't we all, if you have any type of. Uh, I've had like, go die, yeah. you ugly clown face. <laughs> Does that mean I really think someone's going to come kill me? I think it was uh, Go Die, uh, that puppet from Saw. Yes, was that, Billy. Is that, Billy. is that a clown? Would that be considered no, a clown? No, Billy was the little guy that rode a tricycle in the movie Saw. I have to tell you, the first time that I heard someone compare you to the Saw clown. Shocking resemblance. I, 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 I never laughed so hard in my life. It was a shocking resemblance. I would never see it until someone else mentioned it. It's the cheekbones, the hollowness <laughs> under the eyes. <laughs> The, like, chin that kind of goes out. <laughs> and a lot of people think that this is, like, a weird plastic surgery face. Right. This is my face. <laughs> it you is. Could, I've shared old photos of Look at your sons. Myself. I mean, you guys, hey, this you is guys the have face. the similar These face. are the cheeks. Yeah. I used to be called Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. Yeah. But the whole time I was like, I don't know why the people are saying this. I'm stunning because my mom would just tell me how gorgeous I was right. all the time. Well, I you are stunning. Her. You know, you, and, got... you know what? I, I actually realize I'm not that great. But looking. here's the thing. Don't you think you, <laughs> don't you think you made the best with what you have? What, yes, like because... genetically what you've been given. You made the hair work for you. You made everything work for you. Honestly, because I think my parents convinced me I was better looking than I was. Well, that's their job. I yeah? agree. I'm telling you, tell your kids they're good looking. Right. Or, or maybe it's that's a false. I don't, I don't think it's too. No. Yeah. Listen, if that's all your daughter has going on for her and she's absolutely stunning, you might, that might make you nervous. Like you might be like, oh my God, you know, she's so attractive. Like life's going to be too easy for you. But if your kid is just like, okay looking. Right. You can absolutely blow it up and they will be like, I'm I'm fucking the bomb. Like why am I not? I mean, I tried to, I went on go sees to get modeling contracts. (laughs) Nobody wanted me for like, let me just... It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It all worked out in the end. I mean, I can tell my sons, you know, when my son is feeling down about something, I'm like, here are some things that no one can take away from you. What's that? Like his height? Yeah. Yeah. Like, not everybody has that. No. You know? Like, Could, yeah. like work out your body. You have a good head of hair. You good. have nice features. There, yeah. Getting you, better looking with every year. You have year. access to dental care. Uh-huh. There's that. I mean, not everybody has that. Right, like, we can right. get your teeth straight. Yeah. You could whiten them. Like, I'm just saying, like, look around and, mm-hmm. you know, and just know that whatever, use what you got. Right. So, anyway, um, so I then, on my Instagram story, then um, waited a couple hours. Yeah. And then I did, like, a very dramatic story that I guess some people believed. A lot of where, people. Where I said that you were... Getting death threats um, that – also a lot of times when people go after people, they're like, how could they go after the most vulnerable, like, you know, LGBTQ person right. or, a, you know, someone, a person of color? So I was like, and, you know, it's terrible, <laughs> like, that you're going after an older straight white man. Like, yeah, like- he cannot handle it. <laughs> He's called the LAPD. <laughs> He's hired private security. Like, stand down, Juicy Scoopers Beehive. Like, leave him right. alone. But really the problem that they really wrote me was, was like – they couldn't believe he that you had the Samsung, Samsung. Galaxy. Yeah, because in that's the, what I took the most shit for. It was a Samsung the Samsung Galaxy. I guess that's how it's I proven. Did, yeah, it's, it's if green it's blue, text. it means we're all iPhone. Right. And if if it pops up green, <clears throat> right. that is the truth teller. Yes, and people are very angry. Very and, I, angry. and I said that too. I'm like, I've never been shamed for anything quite like the way I've been shamed for my Samsung Galaxy S21. I believe top of the yeah. line, as far as I know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand the phone shaming. Like you can't shame anybody for anything these days, but no, I mean, the phone it, shaming is just full out and, and open and there's, there's this girl in euphoria, the pretty girl, what's her name? Sydney Sweeney. Sydney yeah, Sweeney. I know her. And she went to celebrate her mom's birthday this weekend who was turning 60. Okay. And she threw up some photos and was a, kind of a Southern theme or Texas theme. I yeah. don't know where she's from. And, um, 
someone noticed in the back of one of the photos was a guy about 70 that seemed to have a shirt on that if you zoomed in, it was Blue Lives Matter. Oh, I, I heard that. Yeah. So and then a couple of the other older ladies or somebody made for fun, probably hats that were a parody of Make It Great Again, but it was called Make 60 Sexy Again. Oh, OK. But, yeah. they, but they were red. Okay, they also, were red. So they, were they, they saw. So they're like, um, no one should watch her shows anymore. No one should, like. Can't, I mean, if we're like, because she was at a party that might like, be I'm, like. A- I mean, she was like, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I celebrated my mom's birthday. Like, leave me alone. I'm not even going to address this, which I thought she handled pretty well. But I was like, okay. I get the freaks that want to go after someone that they believe might not share every view about them. Uh-huh, right. But the fact that people had a visceral reaction to the fact that I have kept a friendship with someone that, that doesn't have an iPhone. And I'm like, you guys, I'm diverse. Uh-huh. I have a diverse group of friends. I would like everyone to see it. It's This beautiful. is the Samsung Galaxy. This I, is it. This is what people have wanted to shame. kill me over. Yeah. Shame. Poor. How poor is he? People saying, yeah. you're poor, you're trash, you're ghetto. These are the things that people were, wow. the terms people were throwing at That's me. That's scary. Were you scared yesterday? <laughs> I was, now, you're... I say it proudly, who I am. I am this person. Yeah. I am Samsung Galaxy. I am T-Mobile, which used to be, you remember the days where T-Mobile was sad. I'm not Cricket Wireless or whatever. I'm not, there's some sadder. I'm T-Mobile. I'm Samsung Galaxy. I'm Johnson & Johnson Vaccine. I'm trash. I'm barely able to. <laughs> <laughs> so when, I didn't think it was going to be exposed with a couple of texts to you. So then. Um... I was just looking to get in the American Airlines lounge at Motley Crue. That's the only reason I texted you. I thought maybe you were there with good hookups. <laughs> Where you could get the good yeah, like, vodka right. cranberry yeah. juice. So anyway, I then said. Um, then Sarah gets involved yeah. and then Sarah admits it was I who planned the trip. It was. And I didn't think that you'd want seven hours of Motley Crue. Uh, yeah. And I was like, you know what? I had my clutch purse, which is stadium approved. Sarah's it's company. company. Yeah. Um, could have thrown a lipstick in there yeah. and, and been on my way had I been invited, mm-hmm. but it's okay. It's okay. Then you double down. Well, I had to. With I mean, your <laughs> Bringing up the fact, that I'll let you tell it. Okay. Tell it. That years ago, several years ago, I think it was ten. It was close. Yeah, it was probably close. Uh, I was having some sort of like Christmas brunch. We were all very proud of our Christmas, like not on Christmas. It was, it was not, a few days it would before. Not have been a brunch because then I could have gone to both. No, it was a brunch. It was okay. an afternoon thing. I, I'm just going to say okay. some of the celebrities so the, who were there. Okay. Fortune Feimster. Woof. <laughs> yeah. There's a few others. I don't remember, okay. but they came. Steve Marmelstein, no, but uh, some people showed up. You said you were coming. Okay. Then you said, I won't but not be there. And later on, I had found out that you had gone to Chaz Dean's party. You went to Chaz Dean's party instead because you got, Chaz Dean was giving out a bag at the end well, with free shampoo. Well, first of all, I don't remember and, being a brunch. It was and a brunch. I'm going, I, I don't have the energy to go back. But I am guessing that my friend Lori Smith invited our family to the North Ranch um, Christmas Santa brunch. Okay. And that's why I couldn't go to both brunches. Because there's no reason I wouldn't go to yours. I think, I think you might and, be right about that. Well, thank you. But where was – but there was a Chaz Dean. A lot. Where was Chaz Dean? It was probably another night. No. You told or it was, me. It might have been that night, but I wouldn't have blown yours. I do. I completely do double parties during the holidays. Right. No problem. As long as they're not – like I will do a lunch – I will do a five o'clock thing. I will right. then go to a nine o'clock. Like I will f- max it out mm-hmm. if I'm invited. So I think probably it was that I went there. And I mean, if we really want to like. And you also finger- then took a shot at a seven layer. You said something about, I'd rather have Chaz Dean shampoo <laughs> well, than a Costco seven layer dip. <laughs> well, because I had to double down on you. First of all. Which, I thought uh, when you said it, I th- I figured maybe I did pick Chaz Dean over Chris's like Christmas cocktail party. Yeah, this was many years ago. It was you did ha- always have a nice apartment and a sense of style, but it was an apartment party. It was an apartment party. Okay, yeah. I and agree Chaz with you. Chaz Dean lives on like I don't know how many acres in Hollywood. I'm not in the apartment anymore. I want everyone to know. I, well, of course, yeah. this is a long time right, ago. Yeah. Um, and. You get to the Chaz Dean party, there is a red carpet opportunity, and you get several bags of Wen products when you leave. Which, and the isn't food he in trouble is for amazing. That? Doesn't do your hair fall out or something? That was a few people. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, uh, I 
you know, so I had to say that in my rebuttal to you. Yeah. And um, a lot of people were concerned. They were like, oh, my God, what's going on? They're really they're really mad at each other. And I knew that we could get past it. Yeah, I did, too. And I mean, I feel like we've got – we don't really have to have for those type of beefs, you know, because I feel like you lead a different lifestyle than I lead. And it's a lifestyle I have no desire to be a part of. Like, there are times you and – I see you out at these right. fancy parties with, you know, the – Kelly Dodds of the world. Yes. And that's just not where, so somewhere I care to be. So I don't have any FOMO for any of that stuff. Even when you're on the y- the boats, the yachts. Well, the- I told you, everybody, and Juicy Scoopers who are wealthy enough to have dinner parties overlooking the ocean um, with a bartender. Mm-hmm. And I with- used to be the bartender at fancy parties. Yeah. I was well, a cater bartender. I just like to go to them. Yeah. So I'm just saying that's the only thing I'm going to be jealous of. Okay. Of friends, I won't, yeah. my friends could go to dinner. So, so without Motley me, crew, you don't, they you could all go out to dinner to Mastros without me, and I could see the photos, and I'd be like, eh, "That might have been fun, right?" But it won't be a stab in my heart. The only thing would be a stab in my heart is like a really great home with a party. At <clears throat> I'm going to uh, say this now. Yes. And I want you to say no. Okay. Please say no. Because okay. if you say yes, it's going to be very uncomfortable for me. Whoa. But uh, I have tickets to another concert at the Hollywood Bowl in a couple of weeks that my wife can't attend anymore. She was going to, but now she's got to go to Amsterdam. Tell so me. I have tickets to Duran Duran. Yes, the, I want to go. At the Hollywood Bowl. Yes, I want to go. <laughs> but Save it for the morning after. Yeah. No, no, say mm-hmm. a prayer for me now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now you're going to tell me it's a day I'm on tour. I don't know. What it's day is it? September 11th, Sunday night. Sure. Sunday night. <laughs> I'm going. I, I, I l- listen. I, I have, I I have an provi- extra ticket. I will provide the Uber situation. It's at the Hollywood Bowl. It's a bit, you know, it's a tough situation getting in and out. I know. So we don't want to park there. Yeah, I know. No, no. That's so. Um. I get there. I I would probably get there early. Go down. What to might the- be exciting is Brandon might have his license by then. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's because it let's- would be nice to actually call someone versus the Uber thing yeah. coming and going. Okay. Okay. We're gonna figure it out. I'm hundred percent know every Duran Duran song, and okay. I want to go. And they do all the hits. I looked at the set list. And I like an outdoor Hollywood Bowl situation. And I, also and I haven't feel, been in years. I also feel that I think the, last the time Duran I Duran fans are going to be like the cute people. Hollywood Bowl. The Motley Crue fans are the Motley Crue fans. You know, they there's a lot going on there. Well, I don't think you it was go your to crowd. Something and it's like, oh, this is my age group, and it's yeah. a little shocking. It is shocking. <laughs> I, I, identify- I go to old people concerts, and it shocks me every time. I identify as thirty six, thirty eight. Yeah. So it's hard for me to, like, be at something where – or even if I read an article about someone's age, I was like, woof. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, wait, that's my <laughs> age. All right, let's get to the topic. Wait, hold on. One what? more thing. Yes. A couple of years ago, I took my wife yeah. for her birthday yeah. <laughs> to Barry Manilow at the forum. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is this? I was like, I don't know. It was more for me. <laughs> and we got there. And she's like, "What? Who are these people?" I mean, it was, I wonder. I wonder if the performers look out in the audience and just go, "I mean, remember 1975? You know, you know, whatever. Like when these people were 22. Now they're 72, and it's sad." I will say, I look out to my audience, and they're gorgeous and put together. I, I say so it all the time. I'm like, I I love it. Yeah. So you guys. Speaking of which, you're coming on tour with me, HeatherMcDonald.net. We're I am. going. Uh, you're doing Seattle and Portland with me, and then we're doing like at the end, middle November, I think we have Boston, Philly, DC, Philly. Right. There's like another one. No, well, you three. invited me three. to another one recently. Should I say it? You invited me to Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah. Can you go to Las Vegas? I can. I'll be in oh, Las man. Vegas. So as right well. now we've got Las Vegas. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a, a juicy scoop bonanza. I've got you. I've got J- uh, Justin. And I've got um, Brandy and Julie. Oh. And Spencer is going to see if he can go or not because his wife is pregnant. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. But it's looking very fun. Yeah. And we will have tons of fun, you know, hilarious moments. Okay. So last night, yesterday. Oh, I listened to Brittany, it. so did I. So Brittany put on her own, like, YouTube channel. It was just audio, right? It was audio, which yeah. just everyone's all like, oh my God. I'm like, uh, well, okay, guess who's getting a podcast next? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. 
Right. But I listened to it too, and you know she she tells the story. First, I was like, "Wait, is this what she sent originally to get out of her conservatorship?" But no, it sounds like she, this has been recorded recently. Yeah, and put it out there. It was twenty two minutes long. Then it was removed or made private, but of course people grabbed it and shared it. And, you know, it's like, I know we talk a lot about her and everything, but it is it is really sad. And I think she's one of those, basically she just talks about what went down for those 16 or whatever years it was right. that she was in this conservatorship and kind of how it came about that she started talking in a British accent. And then the next day her parents were like, she thought she was going to have a fun sleepover or something. And then they're like... No, um, you need to talk to these doctors. And then she was sent to a facility for two weeks. Right. And next thing she knew, she was in this thing where her dad's like, I'm Britney Spears. I say what you're going to do. And she's like, I would I would be performing. And I know my performances were shit because I just didn't fucking care anymore. But I had to do it. And I'll, I'll let you talk in a minute. But I'm like, in my, my general thought about the whole thing is the reason – that she keeps going. And now the Instagram is gone, right? It's still gone or did it come back? The Instagram went away around the same time that the Elton John song with her was released. Yeah. And I was like, okay, maybe she's just like, you know what? I got all my aggression out wearing these little outfits and spinning in my brown pumps. Yeah. Now I'm back to actually performing. So I think all of this is a good sign for her that she did the song and that she said this. But have you heard the song? I mean, well, the song she is, didn't do anything. No, the like song I literally think she taped in her house with Sam. They sent it, yeah. and then the mixers put it all together. They put it all together. I, I, I mean, Elton John. It's an old Elton John song. Elton John didn't have to sing it fresh no. at seventy five. That's no. his forty year old voice. Yeah, yeah. But hey, it's I did fun. see a weird thing where Elton John was like singing it live. It looked like he was like in Mykonos. It looked like Greece or something, and he was singing it live. But he was like standing behind a, a busboy station in like a restaurant. It was very strange. It was like he, it was like he was dropping it for the first time, <laughs> and they must have not had a place for him to stand or do it. No stage, uh-huh. so he just had himself propped up on a chair, and the DJ was like next Time to him, and it was, it was literally like busboys moving, like moving him out of the way to go get water for table twelve. <laughs> As he's going. Um, yeah, but, I, you know, the things that you say is that I could have gotten gotten a lot of money to do the Oprah and everything. Yeah. But, but she didn't say why she's chosen not to. I think she just wants to be really ready. And I have to say, Brittany, I don't – I actually don't think this was a great idea. Why not save it? Like, save I, it. Yeah. A f- but I don't know. I guess she just really – I think the fact that it came out on the VMAs. I think there's like trigger things for her where she's like, why am I not where I should be? Like, why did this awful thing come to me? Why did all these people take advantage of me? Why did I not like one thing I thought that was interesting is I think that she was almost like a Stockholm victim or something syndrome where once she was in it, it was like and she was on mind altering medication to get her up and put her to sleep and make her still dance and move and stuff that I think that she just like didn't know how to get out of it until the Britney movement. Yeah. And then the Br- free Britney was, she says it's because of the free Britney that I said that I was like, yeah, wait, what is going on? Like, I don't even, I don't think if the free Britney movement didn't start, I think she'd still be in it. Right. I'll probably. Yeah. Because I think it woke her up too a little bit in that, I think she just got so used to this, like an abused person. Right. You get so used to it. Or even I was saying like on a lighter note, like when you leave a job and then like a couple years later, you're like, that was fucked. Or you leave a relationship and you're like, right. that was so shit. I can't believe I put up with that. Oh my God, I just found this letter this dick wrote to me. What was I thinking? So I think it's like a lot of reflection like that, that she at the time probably wasn't voicing it to right. her mom or her sister or anybody else. And I'm not defending them, but I'm like, I wonder how much like people like that knew that she was truly unhappy and her rights were being violated. Now, this is in no way saying any of this is right or wrong. However, if you're at the level of Britney Spears, as huge as she is and biggest star in the world, yeah. I mean, kind of, uh, you do have to have people handling many situations, you know? So that's, that's not unheard of. I'm, I'm saying this was way different. This was right. giving a mind-altering or whatever it was. Uh, but, there, you know, there are 
there are people behind a Britney Spears. They got to handle the tour. They got to handle the this. So uh, it, now are there still people or is she completely on her own releasing, you know, weird Elton John songs that, you know, the song's not great. I mean, that's what I've been talking about in the last couple of weeks. I'm like, weeks, I said, I don't, I don't know that she's like free or what's going on. And is she really married? And yeah. like, um, why don't more paparazzi see? Now, someone sent me that someone wrote, oh, I saw her here. And someone then sent me photos where they saw her in 2018 at the Thousand Oaks Mall. I'm like, I know, but like, yeah, she's not going out and having girl dinners or even eating that off. I know that she went out like once with Sam to a restaurant, but it's pretty rare. I saw rare. something that she was at a bar. She said it was the first time I've been to a bar. Yeah, but, but I said nobody ever, nobody at the bar like got a photo of that and was like, oh my God, dying. The way you would with like a, right. an E-list celebrity. Like yeah, yeah. really. So I just kind of was concerned that she was still under, and then the way the videos were still <clears throat> in the old house. And I, it was just very strange, but I don't know. I guess hopefully she's, but it's weird because it's like she'll do a bunch of fun ones of her back when the Instagram was there, rolling around and dancing. And then, and then there'll just be a long one of like, let me remind you all of how horrible my family was. And right. like a long diatribe. Then a week and a half will go by and she's spinning and wearing, you know, shirts from the 99 cent store. And, yeah. and then there'll be another coffee cup. And just like, I used to like coffee until I was told I couldn't have it anymore. And I was like, so I get that she's like, it, this is her therapy because she obviously never wants to see a real therapist again yeah so i guess she feels like that but then i'm like i don't know why it was taken down and yeah but she did say one weird thing that i i was wrong about in watching everything and like the britney movie movie and stuff so she was supposed to do this whole other um thing in vegas different than planet hollywood remember and she came out and then she wrote i'm so sorry i'm canceling it my dad is sick that was the thing where she appeared for like a minute uh, yes. in, a, in a, that big And then right after, event. she's like, I hate to do this, you guys, but I'm not going to be doing this uh, residency. Right. And I thought that that was the moment she realized, like, why would I commit to another three years of working this hard when I don't get to enjoy the fruits of my labor? Yeah. In this 22-minute thing, she basically said that she was told this is it. You're not doing it, and, and you're going to say it's because – you're like that's I didn't get that part. She said you're going to say it's I had to just say oh my dad is sick, but that yeah. had nothing to do with that. I was forced to to make that statement. And she did say she was in a, a secret relationship with a guy who wanted to take her out of the country. Did you hear that part? I didn't finish it all. Yeah. So what, tell me about that. What did she, she does say? at one point? She says and we, I was in a secret relationship that we couldn't talk about, and he wanted to take me out of the country and they wouldn't let me like she wanted to who i they don't know who the person is the guy they did she ever say. talk about the the guy that was the william morris agent that I, originally she was with maybe when that's Ve- the person she's Vegas referencing started? i don't know uh that might be the person she's referencing but she said there was somebody who wanted to take her out of all this a, a relationship she was in and they wouldn't let her i hung out with that guy and i was i really swear he was just on the breath of fucking telling me and then he realized, like, what the yeah. hell am I doing? Because I was like, what happened? What happened between you guys? You know, and at that time, there were rumblings that, like, she's, you know, under control of her dad. Not to the knowledge we have now, because this was, like, three years ago. Right. But, like, and then he was like, it just, yeah, it just didn't work out. So then that night I went and, like, researched why did they break up. And it was all these dumb, you know, people dumb articles of people speculating like oh she he didn't want any more kids and she really wanted a kid and did it and like but they were engaged yeah i know and i was, was like a, and then people were like and no, he, he seemed like a legitimate guy people were like right? well he was he in on it he was her agent at william morris i think his name was jason he was her agent at william morris and then it became romantic yeah and he was like yeah you know here i was at this william morris like agent retreat and they found out that I was seeing her, and it was just like, that can't happen. So then right. he had to leave William Morris, but then he was still sort of like managing her Vegas residency, but that was 100% after the conservatorship, because the conservatorship happened, and she said a week and a half later she was doing, um, after her you know, conservatorship started and after she like went to the mental hospital, literally a week after she got out, she was doing How I Met Your Mother, and she like killed every line. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that one. And then immediately went and started preparing for this yeah. uh, residency. Wow. Well, I wish her luck. I mean. Oh, and then she said, and a woman convinced my parents, which I think is that Lou. 
Yeah. That woman they always talk about that wanted like Kanye too. They, they mm-hmm. and has also tried to do it. Also tried to talk to Lindsay Lohan's parents. What, Lou, we look up that woman, the yeah. woman who she was a manager or something. Yes, right? she yeah. was a manager, and it's like, oh, if you go deep dive on that, she it's like she's involved in this church that people give money to, and it's so Lou Taylor. Lou Taylor. Yeah, she's Lou a female. Yeah. yeah. And um, so wow. So we'll see. Um. Okay, so did you watch any of the VMAs last night? Which I was did. on CW, like yeah. MTV VMAs, but on CW. I but anyway, I, I, I did. I mean, I watched a lot of clips of it. It was uh, a lot of people. Johnny Depp made an appearance. They think that he was in the moon. There's no way. No, he was not in it. It was. It was like a video of oh, him. Just his face. Yeah. Yes. It was. Yeah. They must have shot it somewhere. Okay. It was Other just, people it was say like it his, doesn't look like him. I felt the face looked a little thin to be his. I felt like they just kind of simulated a face or something. I they know. did. I think it was just a, a video. Oh, okay. Of, but in, like, on a screen. You think, but you don't. So you don't think he was like? No, he certainly consent. wasn't there. No, no, no. Um, but he did appear several times throughout the show. You know, kind of. Re- referencing that he needs work you know he was being oh. self-deprecating you know like i need a job i'll do anything i'll come to your bar mitzvah your Wait, bar where mitzvah. did he say this during the show during the show oh, so he was there no he was in this moon outfit it was a oh. moon man outfit that kept coming out of the ceiling it was floating around and he was in the screen oh, of the I face see. okay and hey everybody it's me johnny depp that's how it opened and he's like i needed the work Ha ha ha! Oh. Then halfway through the show, it comes back. It's me again. I'll do anything. Your bat mitzvah. Your bat mitzvah. You got a wedding. I'll come and perform. Whatever. He's basically referencing. Okay. I need money. That okay. was the joke, I guess. And then Fergie back in full Fergie mode. Mode. No crazy national anthem. Sexing up the national anthem at Good the NBA All Star game. That was like the last time she made a public appearance. Remember? So how did she do? Great. I, well, you know, we love First Fergie. class. I know. She- because we did a dance routine. We had this Chelsea Lately dance crew. And she recognized all of us. She loved all of she us. She was obsessed. And I remember she was teaching us the dance moves. And she turned around and she was like. She was like shaking. And I go, was- I go, what? You know, do you need something? And she goes, I just can't believe I'm here with you guys. I know. I was like, it was what? so exciting. Us? I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, she could not have been more down to earth and sweet. Yeah, she so was I'm like really freaking out that... when she met us. Remember, she was like, I, we were introducing us. And she said, I know who all of you are. This is on Chelsea <laughs> Lately for the. We did. Do we reference that? Yeah. So anyway, oh, this week was the eight year eight anniversary years of uh, RIP. Yeah, our final show, which you were posting some pictures of, and I've forgotten many of those people were even there. Yeah, it was amazing because, yeah, I took so many pictures because it was like, I knew I'd never see them again. Yeah. So I was like, let me get these thirst trap photos with like every famous yeah. person. Somebody wrote, how come you don't have any pictures with you and Chelsea? I was like, oh, she wouldn't talk to me at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't famous enough to be talked we were to. You're barely in yeah, that thing. Right, I think right. you just came out like, at like, like, and the fourth grade. And like, literally, we were like, oh, felt no. like we were just like students that walked out. And the rest of the show was just all about like, the, the stars that wanted to be – that were her friends. It was whatever. one last dig at all of us, I remember, because they put us all in <laughs> groups where it was like – and I remember I was with Craig, Greg Fitzsimmons and I think um, – who's the other guy I love? Uh, uh, Proops. Yeah. Uh, and myself. And they're like, these are the old fucks or something. And the three of us had to come out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it was like one last shot. I don't know what we were probably thirsty horrors or something. Probably gave out with Sarah I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's like what you were talking about earlier about yeah. Britney Spears. You know, I mean, I definitely. I was telling Annie. I go. I definitely like. You know, talked a lot about it on this show because I looked back and I realized, oh, that was kind of fucked up, or why didn't I stick up for myself more? Things like that. Like, yeah, you. But at the time, you don't realize it. You know, it's funny with people. I on my podcast, I talk about it all the time too, and I, and I. People, I think people are like, this guy's desperate that he's still talking about this show. But I'm like, the only reason I still talk about it, maybe you're the same way, yeah. is because it's the last time I was surrounded by people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I went to an, you know, I, since then I, right. I see you every now and again, but I'm not surrounded by, I'm like not in, in an office, room. in a yeah. room with, I mean, not just the writers, every, 250 yeah. people working on the show. So every day we were with people and I had, 
relationships and we did different things that went on in an office. I don't right. do that anymore. So no, I talk about it because it's the last time I saw people. I mean, it was very SNL and very fun <clears throat> and very like almost like the way you'd look back at like college living in, you know, your favorite right. dorm or apartment building where there were guys and girls and you all partied and you all did your stuff and there were fights and there were weirdness and then you get over it and like, yeah. yeah. But anyway, little Nas is, um, you know, he shows up in the red carpet shirtless. Which Why not? I guess you can still do that um, as a guy. Probably next year girls will be doing it too. I kind of w- – I was watching and I'm like, I don't even want to spend that much time on this because I did feel like – I'm like, ugh, my, my mouth was literally on the floor with the – what people were doing and acting and uh, like – like there was, you know, hey, a lot of guys kissing other guys, a lot of guys wearing dresses, mm-hmm. and then the then these two guys came out who were like rappers who were, I'll say, presenting masculine, okay? uh-huh. like, and then they had girls, they had this big thing where this, I don't know if it was like uh, an actual balloon or what it was, but it was just a girl on her her knees doing her big ass, but it was like huge, yeah. Um, like twerking and stuff uh-huh. with these other girls with their asses all around. So I was like, yeah, like the, the, the only guy, the guys performing either were wearing dresses and making out with each other's or exploiting like a woman's ass. I was mm-hmm. like, all right, well, good for you. I, well, I mean, I'll who say cares? this. I think that's what the VMAs is supposed uh, yeah, to be. Like, I know. This that's why not... I'm like, who cares? I'm yeah. like, the, the thing is, I'm not worried about our kids. <clears throat> no, like everybody's whatever. Be fine. And nobody watched it all the way through. Anyway, so, this guy kissed another guy. Bad bunny. Big bunny. Bad bunny. Oh, bad bunny <laughs> kissed some male dancer. Yeah. Who cares? Um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift has got a new album coming out, and she won a bunch of awards, so that everyone's like freaking out about that. Now, if I were Taylor Swift, uh, mm-hmm. what I would do uh, if I was going to an award show, because if you get Taylor Swift to come to your award, it's a big get. Right. So they're probably like, this is good. I would, if I were her from here on out, I'd be like, listen. I'm coming to your show. I'll sit in the front row. But I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to dance to the songs that are playing on stage. Don't uh, uh, vid- you know, put the camera on me when I'm dancing. Because it, she never – I don't know. She's not a great dancer. I don't know what it is. And I like Taylor Swift a lot. But she's having a good time and I almost feel like she looks like a – I don't know, a bad dancer a lot. <laughs> she looks like somebody's mom at a wedding. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Right. I love Tales. She's just – that's not her thing. She plays guitar great. And she I, writes great songs. I don't think she's – she's not exactly a, a good dancer. But when, remember they used to do it to Oprah? Anytime she had uh, a singer on and they would they would pant to her and she'd be singing along and it was just like, let Oprah just not, not have to sing right, along with right, Gail yes. to whoever's – I, I agree. Um, but anyone, everyone's excited about her new album, so good for her. And then page six right, coincidence or intentional? Taylor Swift plans to release her 10th studio album on Kim Kardashian's birthday. I'm sorry. I don't know when the fuck Kim Kardashian's birthday is. Do you? Does anybody? I mean, I they no act idea. like it's... Is it President's Day? Like, what is it? Like, I literally... <laughs> the only famous person's birthday that I know by heart, besides my own, is Donald Trump. Because it's the same birthday. Oh, you have the same it's birthday? It's June 14th, and it is oh. a national holiday. It's Flag Day, and Annie has June 14th. How weird is Your that? Your birthday June 14th? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But that's the only, I literally, I don't know when Madonna's birthday is. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know either. when Britney's birthday is. Like, do, do you really think she was like, I'm going to release my 10th album to take away from, I mean, it's just such a dumb article. And, and how was that? They're not even, what's the correlation between the two of them? Remember, they didn't like each other because... Of the Kanye beef. Kanye took the, the oh, award from we're her. We're still talking then, about that? Then they made up. Then she acted like they didn't make up because he did that video of all the naked people, including Caitlyn, being in a bed together. And oh, she yeah. was one of them. And then she was like, "What?" and he said something about her in a song. And, and she's like, how dare you? And then Kim released tapes of their conversation of how they almost planned, almost like our yeah. beef, like pa- planned a fake beef. Oh. And then she was acting like, like she was blindsided. Anyway, okay. Uh, Lizzo wore <laughs> some black trash bag and she performed in this pink outfit. And I just want to say, why do girls, and JLo does this too. Yeah. You know how like g- male rappers will like kind of grab their junk when they mm-hmm. dance and they kind of talk like that? I notice women do that too. They kind of like, it's yeah. such a, it's like a dance move. And I'm like, it doesn't look good. No. Stop it was... grabbing your junk like a, like a, 
I don't know. I'm yeah. just saying. Don't Was like Lizzo it. doing it? Yeah, she did it, but she sounded good. What'd you think excited. of the? What'd you think of the outfit? That, a lot of people talking about the outfit, the big the comforter. pink. No, the or comforter she was wearing. This? Yeah, that. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know. Did Kanye? It uh, looks comfortable. Certainly, don't have to. No, I don't know. She's not. Great. I love Lizzo. I, I love mean, Lizzo's the music, music is too. great. It's, all, it's fine. She's taking, you know, she's but, taking this, and she knows I'm going to do outrageous stuff, and I'm going to. And, and I'm a big girl, and, and it's going to make people, people angry gonna, because yeah. they're like, why? Because they look at themselves and they're like, if she's able to accomplish all this, then I have no excuse. Right, and that's why people are mean because she. You know, doesn't look like Beyonce up there, you right. know, but she's just as talented and has just as many hits and sings as well. Yeah, and, and that kind of more fun to watch. Right. I mean, so just, I think she's, I think she's, she great. plays a flute for God. You see her out, she plays a flute. <laughs> anyway, okay. So that's it for the this, this show. That was fun. Oh, oh, and this th- was a good one. This is a weird Young Gravy. Young Gravy <laughs> is dating. You could say that with a straight face. I know. What a name. Young Gravy. <laughs> What's old Gravy like? Anyway, it's his dad. He's uh, he's some rapper or whatever, right? Yeah. And he's dating Addison Ray from TikTok Fame's mom, Sherry Easterling. And there was controversy with Addison Ray's dad dating this young girl. But now the the mom's after some young cat. Well, so I hope okay. Things, I hope things work out with her and young gravy. <laughs> but they were like like hardcore making out on the red carpet and stuff. So it was I think it was a bit of a show. They yeah. were doing a thing. Yeah, okay. Um, Daily Pop and Nightly Pop has been canceled. And uh, speaking of what the conspiracy theory about um, the uh, Taylor Swift putting out her album on Kim's birthday, right? I think this was announced the day of our last show. Our oh, last show was like was. August 26th. And I think this news came out on August 26th. Oh, because they're saying eight years later. They Chelsea said, Lately's coming back. <laughs> We're here to announce, everybody. Can you imagine? Oh, I don't know though. They said they do have a, a nightly show coming back, but in October that'll be different than this. Starring uh, Addison Rae's mom and Young Gravy. Now they're going to be. Oh. I don't know what it what it'll be. Well, I could tell, I think, I I think, could tell you what it's going to be. I think it's going to be one host with a panel. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be the three hosts that they had doing this show, and I think it's either going to be Justin Sylvester, maybe Lonnie Love. Um, or maybe somebody that we haven't even thought of. Oh, okay. You mean somebody who's already on these shows that you're talking yes. about? And one of them. Just one of them. Lonnie Love would be great. Yeah, just one of them. Yeah. So, and then and then have a, a slew of people come in all the time and experts and have like, um, you know, people from TikTok, you know, like, or, or like we have a TikTok news and we have right. a this news. And I, I mean, nobody cares about E covering the news. Well, yeah, you know? yeah, not anymore. But some people were sad about these shows being canceled. Who? So who was? Who was? Sad? I saw some comments that were like, "I'm sad." Really? I don't think so. Um, yeah. Remember, they fired me. Remember I know. I did, I did and three I'm, days. And yeah, and, and I, they fired me, and then um, they weren't going to pay me for the two other days that I had blocked out. And you left your your outfit there, and you had to go. Didn't they bring it to your house? I said they better bring me my outfits because I yeah. brought stuff for the week. Wow. And then they tried to, they really tried to gaslight me and said I said something like offensive or something. And so yeah. then my You? Yeah. But I but I knew <laughs> what I said. But I but I said, all right, then send me the clip of it. Right. Like send us the clip of it. And did they? No. Yeah. And then they weren't paying. They weren't gonna pay me. And then we're like, that's all right. Did we'll they just, pay you? No, we, we just said that's okay. We yeah. we have the contract right here and we're just gonna let SAG after know about it. Yeah. And then they're like, Oh, sorry, I missed this email. We're getting the check right out to you. Well, they're gone now. So, there you go. Good luck to you. Certainly won't be me. Um, Jennifer Lopez, apparently, according to Page Six, uh, made guests sign NDAs. Of course. To attend the wedding. That However, somehow this clip got out there. Don't know who put it out there. I'm guessing Jennifer did. But yeah. it's pretty embarrassing. And then her singing a new song. And she's singing a new song. So I'm like, this is so planned out. And she's got like backup dancers and she's wearing a different wedding dress than what she was buried in. And she's got Ben sitting in a chair. And she's like, you know, I get what was, what was like the line is like, you know, what? it's kind of is catchy because I'm trying to kind of remember it. But it's like, you know, I just want you to do, do, do. You know, I just want you. It's, it's it. I, I'm just shocked. 
Yeah, because I was really I, shocked I, when I watched it. I'm shocked it too. by mega movie star people that are so desperate to say relative that they're taking pieces from like TikTok people and like this is like every 30 year old influencer with 10,000 followers yeah. that made her husband like do a dance routine or hope or have a bunch of groomsmen be like doing a routine to hope to go viral. I'm like, you literally performed at your own wedding this song. Ben is like, huh? and then she goes to you like she's going to the audience. You know, I can't. Ha-. It goes to him like he knows the fucking words like he's going to sing to this, too. Yeah, it, it went, was. I know. It, I was a little shocked when I saw it. I was like, I mean, doesn't. They, they've been around a long time, both of them. They know this business. They're not. They're both huge stars. J Lo's not. She's going to be a big star the rest of her life. Uh, you don't have to do this. Also, that we found out. Like, Leo, don't even have to have the second wedding. I thought that was a little much. I know. And then, like, Le- the Vegas thing was perfect. So then, Leah Remini didn't go, and people were speculating. But she's been with your daughter into college. And oh. that I 100% believe. Casey Affleck didn't go. I know you Casey, talked about this. Casey, yes. And I think that um, I got some inside scoop on why. But it has nothing to do with not liking her. Yeah. It's just like he honestly had something really much better to do. He was in Malibu. <laughs> and yeah. hanging out. <laughs> and just, you know. I was in Malibu too. But I don't I think it had been. anything to do with like not liking her. No, I don't think But she- then somebody wrote me saying, oh, I know the um, – you know, the limo driver that d- drove was, was driving him around, Matt Damon, 20 years ago, and the family didn't like her. I'm like, 20 years ago, who cares? You right. know, like, the family doesn't have any say now. You have more say when your husband, when your son's like 33 than when he's 50 about yeah. who he marries. So I don't really think, but look, um, I totally believe that Leah was moving her daughter in. And I, that's a good question. No, I'd go to J Lo's wedding over moving Brandon in. Oh yeah. Oh. But come a on. daughter's different. Like a daughter's different. They're like Was it her first year she, at college? And she only has one daughter. Oh yeah. And I just think I just think she, yeah. So she made the right decision. I would have gone to J Lo's right. wedding. Okay. Um then this article I was dying over. Jennifer Garner, page six, quote, thrilled to get rid of her fourth child. Ben. Which meant Ben Affleck. People are like, what? She got rid of a baby? Okay. Then they talk about it and they say, um, this is so funny. The 50-year-old actress was seen all smiles as she was pictured at Sam's Club in South Char- Charleston um, during the hours, right before the hours of J-Lo and Ben Affleck's wedding. Like, just always down to earth. And she appeared to be joined by her father along with her business band boyfriend and the outing and spotted for, you know, took a photo by a fan. Okay, then- I love a Sam's Club. Do you have a Sam's Club? Or you're, you're Costco, but... Yes, I don't even know where one is, yeah. but it's similar, right? It's a very, yeah. Okay, but then, as I'm reading this article, it, re- it reads, She's also the co-founder and chief brand officer of Once Upon a Farm, a leader in fresh snacks for kids. Back in March, Forbes reported that it is the first brand to receive the 1,000-day promise certification from the Clean Label Project for its new advanced nutrition blends. The Hollywood Insider said, Jenna's working. She's happy. Oh, she's got a nice plug in there. Okay, so let me tell the kids what happened here. Yeah. This is what happened here. She gave this story. She gave this story, or her person gave this story, and said, just please include this thing about the her, her brand. Right. Because that's way too much information. Yeah, there's a lot of information about it. Yeah. You know, and I know this because I know somebody that had some breaking news that was going to happen in his life. Okay. And they called me and I called him and I said, listen, they're, they're asking about it. I think you should give it. Um, and then the article came out and along with releasing his personal news from himself, it also had a long detailed paragraph about something about his business. Yeah. And because it was like, okay, I'll give it to you exclusively, but also mention that I have this thing happening. Oh. So it's like, like if I was going to announce my divorce today. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, I'm giving you the exclusive. And I, or even afterwards, like, hey, I'll give you a little bit of juice. Um, The reason I'm really getting divorced is because um, Peter's uh, skin condition was just grossing me out, whatever. And then it's like, Heather's, you know, and then it'll be like, said the 
Juicy Scoop podcaster who is getting ready to go on a tour and then list like every day with the theaters. <laughs> M- might then, not be a bad idea. Yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, and then the insider said, but she's happy to move forward and they plan on co-parenting great. Like, it's just so well, dumb. Well, speaking of that, it is funny that, I don't know if you've heard recently, uh, Sylvester Stallone and oh, Jennifer I have it, I have Flavin. It. Wait, okay. I have it. But I do want to say, in this article, it basically said, which I agree, yeah. she's happy to be d- done with Ben Affleck. Right. There's like a TikTok that's like that song, like, holy love can hurt like this. And it's just these videos of him just like yelling at her, at like drop off with his mask on. Right. She, like Jen Garner and Ben and times when she's just crying and she's like, you don't understand. And they like clearly are like fighting about kids or something. Right. And it's like all these scenes put together. No, of her like driving him to rehab, going through the, you know, jack in a box before she has to take them and. Cheating, mm-hmm. he, I think he cheated with a nanny, and like, and there were so many awful things yeah. that, like, I'm think she's totally like, I'm in love. Like, have did she have him. another man? Yeah, they just oh, had yeah. her business man. They went to Sam's Club together. Oh, that was a guy. Yeah. yeah, and but but I think she she is like, he's yours, Jen. He falls off the wagon. He freaks like you. You go take him to rehab. Yeah, I've done it. So I agree that she feels like I don't say. But every photo they post. He's freaking miserable. They are, they are, I'm sure there's photos where he's smiling. It's always her forcing, this is a photo, another page six. That's some more. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck gave into Romance of Italy by sharing a sweet kiss in front of Lake Como on Wednesday. And then they put another photo of him, his, him literally looking miserable as she's like trying to feed him an ice cream. And then another one where her, she's on her tippy toes and she's trying to kiss him and yeah. The, page six knows exactly what they're doing. They're yeah. only posting photos where she's the one pushing him into this thing because that's a f- more fun narrative to talk about. Ben Affleck, I love. I actually like Ben Affleck. I, I kind of do. I've it, been hot for him for yeah. a while, but not anymore. He's he's he looks perpetually hungover. He yes. always looks like he's. I don't know if he even drinks anymore. I think he might be sober. Supposedly he doesn't but, drink, but he does smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he always looks like it's. He's had a rough one. Um, did you get this Shia LaBeouf? Uh-huh. Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf. Shia. We're just going to yeah. call him Shia. What is his situation? Okay, this is, is an insane interesting or not story. insane? Um, he has struggled. Because he pee-pees on my friend's restaurant a lot. My friend uh, Carl Pee-pee McKeenan. on it? Yes. What do you mean on it? He misses he the goes toilet? Out- no, he'll he'll go out in the in the back of it and pee on the you know outside on. Why wouldn't he just earth. use the toilet? I don't know. That my friends had to tell him several times you can't. So pee he outside. goes out through the back, like where the through alley the is, mm-hmm. and then just and whips it building. out and pees. That's yeah. so gross. Several times he's had to been told not to pee on the building. I know he had an issue with some ex girlfriend. I forgot her name that yeah. shared about that he was a bad boyfriend. He's done interviews where he's like, I've cheated on every girlfriend I've ever had. This particular, sorry, this is this particular story is about how he was cast in the Olivia Wilde directed yeah. movie, and he um, <clears throat> was having, I can't remember what he claims, but he just said it wasn't working for him, and he just didn't want to do it. Right. So then he got replaced by Harry Styles because he's had. Like, not a great reputation. He's upset because Olivia Wilde has said, I fired him. You know, the work, like, I couldn't have that energy on set. The work ethic, the way he is with other people, like, he's problematic. He then released a video message that she sent to him. Like, she's, like, getting in her car, and she's like, Shia, I really want to make this work. I know you're, and then she kind of blames it on the other star, the female star. Yeah. That what's the girl in the I love you, darling. Uh, Florence Pugh. Yeah. yeah she goes. Florence. Pugh is her last name. She goes. This might be a little wake up call for Miss Miss Pugh to know that like she can't have her way because I guess there might have been an issue between Florence Pugh and him, and then he was like, I just don't want to do it. But then by but then Olivia. He's mad that Olivia put out that she fired him because he's like in this climate of where toxic men and this and that it made olivia look like a really great female director that she was like no Florence Pugh has an issue i'm getting I, rid of i'm, I'm yeah i'm black but blocking yeah. her and you're out and it's just not true yeah she was begging for him to stay on right so that's pretty juicy 
He's, uh, I mean, he's a good actor. I like him. Mm-hmm. I think he's good in movies. I, I, he's got, you know, he's a wild man. Um, I'm watching Selling the OC. Yeah. And, I mean, I do love the OC, so it's some beautiful footage. Mm-hmm. It is the same tiny twins. They got an office. The Oppenheimer group. I literally think this office is like a studio set. It's like uh-huh. a Truman set or something. Like, it's like... I really don't know that there's any other people that – or I think they just went and filmed all these scenes like they did and have this, like, drama like The Hills and about Selling Sunset. Because, I mean, these people are wearing tinier outfits than the than the Beverly – than the know, Selling Sunset wild. girls. And they're so small. They're so tiny. And none – all of them are recently licensed. Every single one but, like, two of them. Yeah. Two or three have had a license for a couple years. The rest of them, like like – Literally took the test yesterday. And then there's this one guy, Tyler. He's married to Brittany Snow. And he used to be a surfer. And you, Brittany Snow, yeah. And we always used to hear about her. I don't know what she's – anyway. She was in those um, movies where they sing and dance. Yeah, okay. pitch perfect. So he's like, I want to do my own thing. So then he got his – you know, it's very similar to – Chriselle was married to the guy from This Is Us. Yeah. And then I, I assume that This Is Us agent is her agent – and he was like, listen, they're doing this show. Just get your real estate license and, mm-hmm. like, we'll get you on the show, which clearly happened here. And I know some of these people left the few people that had good, um, you know, good somewhat careers. They left, like, their firms to go be on the show. You know what I've learned from watching all these shows and The Bachelor and all these? Yeah. Uh, socks are out. Socks on men are a thing of the past. I maybe that's why Rob Kardashian, who was in the sock game, You're hasn't right. been heard from in a long time because he got in the sock game just when socks became a thing of the past. I saw a, a crazy TikTok going around, a conspiracy theory. About socks? No. About <laughs> – the conspiracy theory is the Kardashians are keeping Rob fat to harvest – his fat for their BBLs, their Brazilian butt oh. lifts, <laughs> so that it's the same. They so, have like hooked up to some thing we'll in just, the house. They could get oh. his fat because they share uh, a genetic gene. So yeah. you don't want fat from like randoms. Oh. And if you have no more fat on your body to stick there, wow, then you they're, they're keeping him fat. Yeah, <laughs> ridiculous but hilarious conspiracy yeah, theory. That is a good one. Anyway, I did notice while they're supposed to be working hard on what's going on with all their listings and everything in the OC, I was watching and I screen grabbed and I zoomed in and paused it and saw that Jason Oppenheimer, he's not looking at listings or anything. He's looking right here at the da- – I can tell that's the Daily Mail. Right. He's looking right. at the Daily Mail. He's looking at gossip sites probably about himself. Right. Not, oh, let me just work on this like contract that's coming in. I mean, in his, isn't that what everyone's doing at their work? If you've probably looked at and not, you know, 90% of people's computers, the Daily Mail's on. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you are part. supposed to be like – Yeah, good. I know. But we know it's all fake. Yeah. Anyway, the girls are all, you know, I'm unpretty. watching one on Hulu. What? I highly recommend. What? They've they've taken two popular reality show franchise ideas and melded them into one. Which is? Hoarders and Home Remodeling. It's called ho- re- re- Flip Hoarder. Hoarder Flip. It's on Hulu. And they walk into these houses that are hoarder houses and they have to get all the shit out and then they have to redo the house. It's the great... First of all, it's I guess it's a Canadian show. It seems to be Canadian. So they're up in like Toronto or whatever. Yeah. Nice pe- and they're, you know, Canadians are nice people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they go, oh, it stinks in here. Oh, it really stinks in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one doesn't smell nice at all. Do you know what? <sighs> but it's pretty good. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't enjoy three kinds of shows. Oh. The 600 pound sisters. You don't like that. Or the thousand pound friend or whatever. You just don't like big. I, it's too big. Too big. I can't. I know. I'm not. I can't. Yeah. Uh, the hoarding. I'm not into that. And I'm not into pimple popping. I'm, I'm with you on pimple popping. And I'm with you. <laughs> I got. I love hoarders. I love it. I love okay. it. I love when they. Now the new thing. They break it down into three categories. They take okay. all the shit out on the front lawn. And and they go. Trash. Keep. Yeah. Uh, th- uh, throw away and donate. I'm like, let's lose the donate. <laughs> you know? I don't think anybody needs your old can of tuna fish. 
We're good on the donut. That was one of the problems. Do you remember during during the season one of COVID? That like everyone was just clearing out their stuff. Yeah. To the point that like they Goodwill to... said, "Do not Please. drop anything yeah. more off. No more Please. junk. We can't we don't take want... it." Or it's like when there's like a fire or something, and everyone's like, "I'm collecting clothes." And okay, depends where the fire is. When yeah. the fire is in Malibu and Westlake Village, they don't want your old no. nubby leggings. <laughs> These women can go. To a friend's house and order all new yeah. leggings yeah. from Lululemon right. and have it delivered in I'm two days. I'm sorry you lost your non million dollar home. Here's my pilled sweater from Forever 21. <laughs> like, just think about it. Uh, think about what people really need. Yeah. We don't need to be sending a package that costs $50 to mail of crap. Yeah, like, I totally agree. Okay. Um, anyway... Enjoying that, that how fake it is, but kind of enjoying it. And um, okay, this uh, this nightclub in Australia, yeah, is banned staring without verbal consent. It's a new woke policy, uh-huh. and um, so I guess you can't like <laughs> I fuck someone. <laughs> Oh, the days. <laughs> I long for the days where I could just sit in a club and I fuck everybody. <laughs> I mean, first of all, that is how, I mean, I, I don't know if it works the opposite way with girls, I fucking guys, but that's how I got guys to like talk to me. Just staring? I would do like intense eye contact. Really? Yeah. Okay, like here, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, I'd like to see this. Okay, I'm interested in you. So we're in a club? You. Yeah, we're in a club and yeah. I'm interested in you, okay? okay. I'm just I've at decided, the bar. I've decided you're by far like the only one in this place. That's I'm worth at the bar too, right? You're you're more like probably like across somewhere. Got it. Okay. So now I've got my friend here, and I'm like, okay. But I'm also feeling like you might be checking me out. Mm-hmm. I got it. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but how long do we do it for? I gotta do it again. Oh, you gotta do it again. A... Oh, okay. So I, I caught the first one. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> it's almost making me uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, keep going because I'm gonna I'm gonna play along. I'm unco- <laughs> I want you to know I'm uncomfortable and I agree with this policy. <laughs> but I want to see it. I want to okay. see how long it actually went on for. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me do it one more time. Okay. And did it work? Then, okay. okay. They come over. If they haven't come over, because guys need a lot more encouragement yeah, today, yeah. but even back then. Then I go to the bathroom. Okay. And even if the bathroom is here and you're over there, I'm going to loop around somehow to walk past you. Okay. And that's when I would walk right past you, tit to chest. Oh. And act like it's crowded. Hopefully yeah. it's crowded. Yeah. So it's like Tit the chest is a good move. Like so it's it's like, you know, like it's like sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so but it's like An actual you act a tit touch the chest? Like you yeah. get that close. Get that like sorry. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and still the stare. Just one little stare, then walk away. All right. Then make sure wherever I land you, you still, can you can still find me. Yeah. Yeah. You're still visually accessible. Yeah. All right. And the best outfit to do that in was my black romper from Express. A, a, really? Halter. Yeah. Didn't now that's a problem when you go to the bathroom, right? Don't you have to take the entire thing? I, st- I is Yeah, that, but it was like issue. it was okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, I'll say this and I I'm yeah. just just actually just looking at this picture that you've posted yeah. and what you just said, I believe that part of the problem with today's society is the fact that all of this is gone. Like that, like tit to chest I, and staring I, across I the totally bar. I totally agree because yeah. I, I don't know if I told you, but when we were like at the Catalina Wine Festival, I was there with my sister and we were there with our husbands and it was a good crowd. Yeah. And there was like a girl's uh, Dirty 30 birthday party, these girls. And they're all cute. And there were also some single guys. And sh- my Shannon and I were like, do you imagine if we were here yeah. single? We would... Be talking to guys. Guys would be coming up to us. We would have already made out with someone last night that either we want to see again exactly. tonight or a new person. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? I know. How are people like? 
It's just depressing. But I don't know what the were are, have were people slut shamed out of a good time because there was that for a long time that you couldn't do these things because you were slut shamed. Then that became a thing you can't do that, and now it's just it's. I guess everyone's doing Bumble or or whatever those type of things. And, yes, I think it's that, and I think it's like guys are kind of scared and they like don't yeah. get, you know they're like don't want to. I mean, it's one thing to be rejected, and then it's another one to be like, I don't need to be called a rapist because, like, right. I offered you a drink. Right, like, right. you know, and then, of yeah. course, the drink thing sucks because you might get roofied in it. Uh huh. I mean, I, like, never spent money. I bought the first drink. We uh-huh. always got our first. And then after that, everything was paid. Guys picking up the drinks. Yes. Really? I would only leave with $20, and I never put down a card. Oh, you'd leave the house with 20 Only bucks. $20. Wow. Yeah. So right. I don't know. But hey, I was, I was, you know, in giving out my numbers and going on dates, all these things that don't exist anymore. But anyway. Um, so much fun. Missing out. You, you kids are missing out on a good time. I know. And then, but then I did come across this girl that I knew and she was like, it was on social media and she's writing all about her dates yeah. now. She's never been married, no kids. And she's attractive. She's a couple years older than I am. And she's like really hardcore, like going into it and like, you know, sharing about it. And I'll share some with you later because I don't want to put it on the show. But my God, I I was in Catalina with my friend, Noelle. She's been married as long as I have. I came across the night before we met and I wrote her and I said, I am going to read you something that is going to make you... Wait a minute. Your friend is telling so, you about no, her dates. No, I'm... Yeah, I have this other friend. We'll call her um, Jenny. Okay. That I haven't talked to her in a long time, but I happen to still follow. Okay. And I'm reading all this about her dating adventures. And I then call my friend Noel, text my friend Noel, who's going on the boat with us this past couple days in Decatur. Yeah. She's been married as long as I have. And I said, we're going to sell this boat, and I'm going to read you these adventures. And... I don't care how annoying your husband is. This is going to make you stay married like nothing I, else on earth. Yeah. Like literally. No, wait like, a minute. This is your be... friend texting you her adventures? Jen, like, do, no, like... I, I follow her. Oh, so it's on but like, I, like, Instagram I, I, I just happened to come across yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. Got it. Got it. And I, we friended each other a million years ago. And then yeah. like I just happened to come and I was just like, oh, my God. Like. And it was written well, and it was pretty entertaining, too. But it was just like, so then I was, like, sharing it with my sister, too, that's been married forever. And I'm like, she, you know, I'm like, Shannon, I'm, she's like, how could you? She's like, how do people even, like, get on with their life with this much, re- like, 40 years of rejection? Yeah. Like, 40 years of, like, knowing that you're smart and pretty and, like, these guys and, you know, give you the false signal and you get all excited and they invite you on a trip. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, sorry, or they ghost you and, like. Another one only wants to talk about his second divorce, not his first divorce. And you're like, oh, and like, I mean, it's just, I was like, I don't know how you can have any confidence in your career. Like I had to go through this rejection at one period of my life. Right. And I just really, I just, I, God love you. And I'm saying, hey, go out there, like find love. But my God. Yeah. I, I just think I'd be like, I'm, I'm good. Like I. I think that's what's happening. I, I Especially at a certain alone. age. Huh. Like I mean, I we have friends. You and I have friends that are of that age and of that s- single life. Just and the, the and, some, and just now the they guessing. do like they're done. I'm done. I know. And then like to guess and like they they love bomb you and you don't know if they're like lying about just being uh, interested in you or they're lying about their whole fucking life right. or like oh my god and they're all on the hinge and the bumble and like I mean I just I. I like I just can't imagine having like the confidence in my life as what I do as a career, right? And confidence that I think I'm a pretty good mom. But then if I was out single and dating, there'd be this all this self doubt and rejection that then you have to incorporate in your life and then still be good at these other things in your right. life. Like I just right. I'm like. It's just horrible. And then it's all, it, you know, you used to do something about this kind of in your act where it's like it's all new moves. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking when I say this. Like, oh, my God. Just the sexual shit. It's like, and now you're old. You're like, oh, we're really going to be doing this? Like, everybody I, I stay the, out of everyone's Listen, I think the butthole. first thing I'd have to do is 
start watching some serious recent porn. Well, that's what I'm, you, know, you watch I'm, that and everyone's going. And I'm not, I honestly, I'm like, I just don't even think I'd want it. <laughs> We've all seen like, enough. I think I'd just rather go for like a forehead and massage. <laughs> For a hundred bucks on Ventura. Yeah, we've all seen enough dicks. Like, and no just, more. Yes. Yeah. Let me just like, and then just watch like some sexy shit on Netflix or something yeah. by myself. <laughs> well, I, th- I mean, I think you're right. I think that's what's happening. People like, I I'm think done people do it. give up. Okay. Um, West Hollywood Halloween Carnival is canceled third year in a yeah, row. Yeah, I heard it is and it isn't. I heard this. They're saying that they can't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they can't corroborate this story, whether it is or it isn't. But I'm hearing other people say it's not. Like, they, they're like, yeah, West Hollywood's canceling, but the gay's like, we're not canceling it. We'll be out in the street dressed like Tinkerbell. Like, there's no. I mean, you know, the greatest yeah. West, Hollywood, West Hollywood carnival story of all times. Which would fun? When our friend Guy. Yeah. He and his friends went. Out on Halloween night, yeah. As uh, he was Delta Burke, oh, God. and the other guys That's were perfect. the other. They were designing women, all designing women, yeah. And we had, you know, to writers meeting the next morning, mm. and he did not That's show right. up because when he did his alarm with his fake nails on his phone, yeah, I think he accidentally did like seven p.m. Not 7 a.m. And he was a bit of a mess at the time, you know. He was I wild. mean, it was, it was Hollywood Boulevard yeah. and your Delta Burke. I mean, I'm imagining it's like their national holiday for gays. And he was Halloween. a bit of a celebrity at that point from... And I guess, you know, so he overslept. Uh-huh. <laughs> Came running in. I remember running vividly. Running in with still nails on. And, and it's a makeup, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. I could, this, we're talking a six-foot-five, 300-pound man. I mean, it... It was, and yeah. then they're like, I think you need to, like, whatever, leave. And then that was the end of that. Um, and now he's doing Now he's, he's huge. Now yeah. he's in a movie. He's, he's got in, boys, yeah. With, he's uh, in um, the one, bros. Yeah, bros. He's in yeah, bros. Yeah. bros yeah. yeah, I just saw the preview yeah. for it. He's got a big part. Yeah. Who, so well, it all worked out. That's but, his buddy. But that was a traumatic day. And, I know. And then, uh, yes, he was, um, I mean, it's safe to say he was let go because of that, yeah. the, that yeah. experience. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about Sly Stallone is divorcing his wife. Yeah. I want to remind people of Juicy Scoop history that at one time they were dating and he broke up with her via a fax. He oh. wrote a letter and sent it through the fax. Yeah. And then they then somehow time. they got back together, have been married for, I don't know, 30 years, Almost. have three really pretty daughters. Yeah. And he's 76 and she's 54. And first they noticed that he, um, she, she did a photo with just her three daughters, like foursome forever or whatever. And then he had this photo, uh, this uh, tattoo of Jennifer's face. She's like a, a supermodel. Yeah. And he was covering it with a... A, a, a new dog. A new dog's yeah. face. Do you hear about the dog? Yeah, like a Rottweiler. The, well, the right? dog, I guess, was an issue. Yeah. That they were fighting about the dog. He Can I just stop it. you right yes, here? Yes, please do. What I'm hearing, and I don't know if this is true or not... I'm hearing that they're doing a reality show, and this is all kind of bullshit for the reality show. That's what I'm hearing. Oh my yeah. god! So it's, yes, a hundred sisters, Stallone fam, the Stallone because they want to be the new Kardashians, yeah, the new Nikki yeah, and Paris yeah. Hilton. Because so I was this. thinking those girls are pretty, but they're not like setting the world on fire. Yeah, we don't so know who I'm they hearing are. It's a reality show, and this is all shtick for the reality show. The do- the dog and all this is that's going to be the bit. I want a dog. And what? That's the shtick. That's what I'm hearing. I'm just letting you know that I'm putting it out there now. Well, I think it was filed. Somebody in the know told me. But you me can that. always file something and take it away. Yeah. So I mean, I think they were they did file for divorce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's a long way to go that for makes, a couple of episodes of a dumb reality show. That like, makes so much more sense. But I don't know. Like, oh god, it's gonna be like goofy. Like, ugh. anyway. Um, all right. Well, I think we're good. Tell me what else is going on in your life. What else is going on? Do you have on any my... shows besides the one with me that you want to promote? Uh, I, yeah. Uh, Rochester, New York coming up. I'm in Rochester at the Comedy on the Carlton. I have September 7th. I'm at Irvine Improv Wednesday night, September oh my 7th. Oh, gosh. Everybody go to Irvine, that. Irvine, Fun. I have Cleveland, Hilarities in Cleveland in October. And, and then we have September 11th and I have at September. the- at no, September 11th, we're going to Duran Duran. Oh, that's right. We have Duran Duran, the September Hollywood 11th. Bowl. Now, how good are these seats? 
I think they're pretty good. I booked them a long time ago when they first announced that okay. they were going on tour. So I and don't. Do I we, don't even remember. Like, do we bring like our own like really good like Irwan Whole Foods? Uh, Food. I think we should. Well, here's the thing. I don't it's... know if we're in the section where they have like tables and stuff. You know, there's a section of the Hollywood Bowl that has like a dining yeah. area. The, we're the, not in the that. Up, the up close part where it's your own little box. Yeah, we're not there. You have to. Do you own those? Those are people who own them. I'm guessing. I'm going to put it out there. Okay. That if there's a juicy scooper. <laughs> no, I. That's what I. I have I that's what I I put these things out there. I'm not sitting with the juicy scoopers. I'm like, hi, Chris. I He's mean, way far no back. good. I, I no. that's why I put it out. I want. I, I feel mean, like the only way it's fun doesn't John Taylor's to wife enjoy listen to the this Hollywood podcast? Bowls. I've got to have food. Okay, I gotta have food. See, this is why. Let me be in charge of you it don't though. Get invited. Shut up. I. I know you like you would just drink beer, right? Eh, at a concert, yeah. Okay, well, I want, like, sure. nice wine, and I want, like, some yummy type of food. I cannot believe I, I offered this ticket up to you. <laughs> this is already ruining my good time. <laughs> I might just go alone and, you know. No, you're not going alone. Okay. The world already knows you invited me. I'm going. I just want you to know that I looked I pro- at the set providing list. The, I'm providing the car They opened service. with Hungry Like the Wolf. That's the type of night you're, you're into. I am looking forward okay. to it. I am down. Okay. But I just don't want to be thinking about food. So I need to bring some. I Can you? Yes. I don't know about that. All right. I'll look it up. Yeah. I hope they didn't change the rules. But I think I, you can I bring you it can if you're in that it. certain section. I know you can buy it, but it's never like that great. Yeah. And it's like so expensive. It kills me. Like we're not going to stand there, stand up eating food. No, we're going to get there. Like why the like why it's still sort of light out. I know you have a thing about charcuterie boards. I'm not going to do a board, but no, I'm I know. thinking really yummy, like little salads and sandwiches. Okay, like just a variety of stuff. But I and then I, and then like some good wine. Okay, uh, but uh, I am going to look up if we can bring it because if we can't, honestly, I'm praying uh, well, that they. Can broke, I just say I'm this? praying that they broke the rules and I can't bring it. You're not 100 percent invited yet. Not 100%. I mean, now, because you've, you've already planned your meal, <laughs> you might have to be. But. Listen, what? this is what I'm praying. Okay. I'm praying that they've shut down people bringing in food. Because if I have the option to bring in my own food, I'm going to have to do that. Right. I'd almost prefer that I don't have the option and I just spend $100 eating and drinking while I'm there. Crap food. I think also you're very recognizable. Let's and have I feel a late like... lunch. Okay. I already had my... <laughs> I think, I, think I have a late you're lunch. You're too recognizable. People you know, know who you are, and then we're going to be up in my shit seats, and you're, everyone's going to be like, why is Heather McDonald in shit seats at the Hollywood Bowl? Okay. I know we can buy booze. Okay. Okay. I I'm, I'm maybe I, All right. I'm going to look it up if we can bring food or not, and then if we can, I will provide, and if we can't, then we'll just walk around and get the drinks that we want. Okay. And we'll have Brandon drive us. Hopefully he'll pass the Well, he's still – yeah. You still got to get – even getting close to how a bowl is a nightmare. So even if you drive this, we'd have to, we have to walk a little bit. I am going to be wearing a comfortable shoe. Oh, OK. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I'm nowhere – I don't care about a wedge. It's going to be a flat. I, I want to say that I'm looking forward to this, but I, I don't know if I am anymore. <laughs> they just might Chris, be worse. I'm going – there's, There's no, no leaving way. early because they close with two of my favorite. Rio is the final There's song. There's no way of the I'm night. leaving early, but if there's 12 openers, I don't think we have to be There's there for all the openers. There's not one guy. No, we're going for the opener. Who's the opener? Nile Rodgers. What does he sing? You, you don't know. You're not okay, gonna, I'm fine. But he does a bunch of covers. You're okay, going to like great. it. Great. Um, I am excited. Hip I, hop, tippity, but hop, and hip hop. Oh my beat. God, yes. Bang, bang, boogie. He does a cover of that. I'm, bang, bang, to beat. I'm going. Hotel. I'm going to start motel. getting my outfit together. Okay. All right, Chris. Cover to cover. Cover to cover is my podcast. Come over not... and listen and have uh, a yes, good time you'll over love there. It. We have Frangiola.fun's going to have all my dates. Yes. I have somebody working on it for me. I don't know how to do it. So okay, they're great. all coming up. I got a lot of cities. Please come. I love when the Juicy Scoopers come to my shows. Thank Irvine, you. Irvine, Cleveland, Rochester, Syracuse, Albany, <laughs> Archford. Okay. New Orleans. So much coming You were in New Orleans? Yeah. Where do you perform in New Orleans? A place like a bar. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. 
It's Everybody, not for you. Good luck. Not for you. Good luck. I'm glad we made up. Yeah, me Don't too. Don't send him any harassing messages. His little heart can't take it. No, no. About my phone. Yeah. yeah. It's just find something else to attack him on. How long has this episode been? It's like an hour and a half. But well, oh. no, and it's not. We're gonna shorten. I mean, I think I might cut some out. What? Just a little bit. I'll discuss it after. Okay, all right. okay bye.